November 1998, again talking about Thomas Jefferson. In Nature Magazine and Science Magazine in that year, there was an article that came out. It was written by Pulitzer Prize winning historian uh, Joseph Ellis. And in that article, Joseph Ellis said, well, we now know that DNA proves that Thomas Jefferson slept with his slave, Sally Hemings. We know that Hemings' children are actually the product of Thomas Jefferson. DNA proves that. So that's, that's the issue. Jefferson was an immoral guy. He slept with, with Sally Hemings. Well, that was an interesting story. What comes out six weeks later, not covered by the media, is the fact that they retracted all the story. It turns out DNA had not proved that. DNA proved just the opposite, proved that he had not slept with the slave Sally Hemings. Why would Joseph Ellis had said this in the first place? Because in November of 1998, President Bill Clinton was being impeached at the time. Joseph Ellis did not like the impeachment of Bill Clinton. He was part of a group that took out an uh, ad in the New York Times opposing the impeachment of Clinton. And you know, it was real simple. If we can show that all the previous presidents had sexual peccadilloes, then who cares what, what, what Clinton did in the, in the White House with Monica Lewinsky? So no, 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 Jefferson had the same problem. So Jefferson was a great president. Well, Clinton's a great president too. No. 